everybody welcome to my channel hope you're doing well today hope your weekend has been phenomenal now today we're going to be reviewing the galaxy black ridge longbow available from lancaster archery this is a good bow if you set it up correctly so stick around we're going to get at it right after this Now, over the course of time, I've shot compounds and I've shot recurves. I've never really gotten into longbow shooting other than my ghost takedown longbow, which I really like. And that's been a good one for me. I, I can't say enough good about that bow. Uh, if I had to buy another one, I would definitely buy that one again. But I really wanted to try a longbow proper. And so I got to searching around and looking around. And what I found was this, the Galaxy Black Ridge Longbow. Now, this is available from Lancaster Archery. Uh, it comes in at an under $200 price point. I got this one for $189 plus free shipping. So if you're looking to get into a longbow for not a lot of money, uh, this one would be a good option. And I'll say this, this is a good shooting bow. It's not a perfect bow. It's not an excellent bow, but it is good for what it is. And the reason I say that is because you're gonna have to do some setup with this bow once you get it out of the box and get it ready to go out to the range or whatever it is you're gonna be doing with it. Um, again, 45 pound draw weight, which is really nice. I like the way that they stamped it into the, uh, into the riser itself. That way it's a good, just quick reference. The shelf is a radius shelf here, you can see. There's some things about this that I don't like. We'll talk about that in a minute. You have reinforced limb tips. These are phenolic reinforced limb tips, so you can shoot uh, fast flight strings with this. The limbs themselves are hard maple laminate with fiberglass, which makes them pretty sturdy. You know, I've not seen any issues with these limbs. No D-lamb, no cracking, no anything like that. No twisting, warping. Really a good solid limb system. The riser itself is really short. I think that's some of the, the I don't want to say weirdness with this bow, but this is one of the things that we're going to address here in this video. But again, overall, the grip is very nice. I like the grip. It's comfortable. It's contoured. The only thing about the grip that I don't like is on the front of the bow here. This is, it's not really uh, contoured. It's just more of a it's a hard angle here, and because of the way this bow shoots, you're going to have to contend with that a little bit. We'll talk about that in a moment. Again, 70 inches at 45 pound draw weight. This is a good bow. So if you're looking to get into a long bow, this would not be a bad option for you. Now, <clears throat> the things that I don't like about this bow. Right out of the gate, if you set this up to its recommended maximum brace height of 8 inches, you're gonna notice one thing that's gonna drive you insane, and that's gonna be the amount of hand shock that comes off of this bow. I was almost ready to send this bow back uh, because of that. And there's a spot right here on my, on my grip where my wedding ring was actually damaging the finish on this just due to the amount of hand shock coming out of this. And I, I you know, I, I tweaked and, and messed around with it and fiddled with it. And, you know, it's a finicky bow. It's a very finicky bow. It doesn't take away from its performance, but it's a very finicky bow. So what I did was I had to adjust the brace height uh, several times. So I went from the maximum of eight inches down to the minimum of seven inches to see how it actually shot at that point. And there's still uh, the hand shocks reduced at the seven inch brace height but uh, I don't think it performs as well as it, as it should at seven inches. So then I started the journey back up towards that eight inch mark. Seven and a quarter, seven and a half. Neither one of those produced, produced the results that I was looking for. And I started to feel that hand shot creep back in as I got higher in the brace height. I actually landed on seven and three quarter and that seemed to minimize it the best and give it the, the overall best shot cycle with this bow. Of course, adding string silencers helped in that. Uh, you're definitely going to need to add those to this bow. But again, that's why I say it's a good bow. Uh, it's not a great bow, if you will. 
It does shoot well. I do enjoy shooting it now that I've figured out the brace height and gotten that hand shock to the, the, the least amount uh, of notice that I have when I shoot this bow. I did make my own string for it, uh, as always. I, I like to tinker and I can't leave well enough alone. I like to make my own strings. It did come with a Flemish twist string. Now the string itself is good quality. I can say that that string was a very nice string and I still have it. I've got it stored away in case I need it again. Uh, but I do like my, my color scheme that I make for this. I did try a, I did try a um, endless loop string. Uh, eh, not so much. They don't work <laughs> on this longbow. Uh, but again, I did try it just to see how it worked. The Flemish Twist is really, uh, really kind of your best option here. Now this is a Daycron B55. I did have some B50 that I wanted to try, but I didn't want to contend with that amount of stretch and settling. And the B55 settles in really quick. So if you're looking to make a Flemish Twist string and you're not using fast flight, B55 makes a really, um, makes a good string and it settles quick. You know, you get your stretch out of the way and you're ready to shoot. The grip is contoured very nice, fits in the hand very nicely. I can say that I have no problem uh, with the grip on this bow. The short riser, I think because of the nature of the bow and the design and this short riser design, you're not really gonna have anything to absorb the limb vibration. And I think that adds to the hand shock. So that's another thing you're gonna have to deal with when if you decide to go this route or if you decide to go with any long bow, I think that's gonna be inherent to the design of it. But I do like it. It is a good shooting bow. So let's uh, set up. Let's go outside, set up the target, and maybe take a few test shots, let you see and hear how the bow performs. And again, we're running at a seven and three quarter brace height, and my knock point's just above five eighths of an inch. So it's giving me the best shot here. We'll be shooting my gold tip, uh, 500 spined arrows with a 50 grain insert, 125 grain up front. Uh, I think that gives the best performance uh, for my 40 pound bows. So let's set up and let's go take some shots. Okay, so I'm set up down here in the woods. Take a few shots. You have to forgive me for the video if it's blown out, I can't tell. Uh, by this little small screen but i got set up down there with my little action camera so you can see the arrows as they're hitting i'm just going to keep it real for you so if i'm shooting bad i'm shooting bad if i'm shooting good well you know that's a bonus for me but again uh the the galaxy black ridge longbow a good shooting bow once you get it set up it's a finicky bow i mean that was the the love-hate relationship i had with this thing when i first got it was getting it set up just the way i needed to to minimize the hand shock and to give me the best shot cycle with it and I think I figured it out at seven and three quarter. I have minimal hand shock now, uh, minimal noise, but you can still, you can feel it a little bit, but it's not as much as when I first uh, took the bow out of the packaging and got it set up to shoot. So take a few shots down there. We'll talk a few more minutes about the bow because there's some things I want to, you know, address with it. Uh, but again, let's just see how I'm shooting today. Hopefully uh, I won't make a monkey out of myself and miss the target, which, you know, happens. <laughs> I always forget that my string on my jacket keeps getting caught. Oh, a little low. Oh, sorry. Another thing too that's creeped into my shooting is I've, I've got my anchor point messed up somehow and I'm, I'm trying to get it back to where it needs to be. Eh, much better. As you can hear, pretty quiet, pretty decent shot. Not like it was when I first started shooting it. And release was bad on that one. Still hit where I wanted it to, but the release was bad. So overall, I mean, good shooting bow. Again, finicky, but a good shooting bow. You're gonna have to tweak it to your liking. So the other thing about this bow, there's one thing that I need to change and I've not been able to pick one up yet, is this rest, this hair rest material here. The glue on this hair rest sucks. And it's just been, I mean, you can just look, you can peel it up very easily. So that's gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to clean that up. The other thing too, like I was saying earlier, 
is this right here. If this was more contoured, it would be better. Although the grip is good. The grip is very good, very comfortable in the hand. It's this contour that I don't like. Uh, if it was just, it's just a hard edge. So it's, it's a little bit weird to get used to. And I know you're not supposed to grip the bow with a white knuckle death grip like that, but still getting used to that is a little bit, uh, it's just, I don't know, coming from my other bows and that being more contoured. Again, it's just the nature of the bow itself. Limb tips, again, phenolic reinforced, so you can shoot a fast flight string. Um, hard maple laminate with fiberglass. I, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a well-constructed bow. It's just a long bow and you're just gonna have to get used to it and you're gonna have to um, set it up to your liking. But I do like it. I would purchase it again if I had to. So hopefully if you're looking for a long bow, this might be a good option for you. I didn't mention the riser earlier. I do like the, the design and the color. They call this a chocolate wood. Not really sure what a chocolate wood is, but again, good bow, decent price, free shipping from Lancaster Archery. You can't beat it. Um, just got to set it up. I know I've stressed that a lot in this video, but I, you know, it, it just, it should be one of those things that you know before you purchase something like this. So let's take a few more shots, then I'll close out this video. But I do appreciate you coming by and checking this out. I do appreciate you hanging out with me for a little bit and hopefully uh, I've given you some insight into this bow. Maybe if you've been looking at it before and you're on the fence. Um, again, good shooting bow. Can't beat it. But thank you for coming by. And if you're new to my channel and you like the content you see, please subscribe. And please leave comments. I love the comment sections. And some of the comments you guys have been leaving have been great. I love them. Thank you so much. And continue doing so. So, thanks again. I hope you have a great day, a better day tomorrow, and a wonderful week ahead of you. Until next time, let's keep shooting. Ooh, low. Bad shot. Look at that.